terrifying night for a family in Detroit when a half dozen people swarmed into their house late last night, guns drawn. Jeff Vaughn joins us live in Detroit with more on this story. And Jeff, what happened and how is everybody? Well, Glenda, that's a very good question. I can answer that. They are scared and uh, they are pretty shook up. But they are thankful that Detroit police tonight have stepped up patrols in their neighborhood. And right now, detectives on the streets looking for those suspects. A new lock is the only sign this home on Detroit's east side was the scene of a terrifying night for the homeowner. Pointed a shotgun at me, told me to get down. The man didn't know where the money is. Inside this home on Park Grove is where three relatives live. An 88-year-old mother and her two sons, ages 62 and 60. I spoke to one of her sons who was understandably too scared to go on camera, but he did tell me his horrifying story. Shook up, scared, afraid to go near the windows, afraid to go outside. Tuesday night, 9 p.m., the homeowner says three men entered through his side door, one armed, with a shotgun. Told me to get down. The man didn't know where the money is. The homeowner says a total of six men, three outside and three inside, held the elderly mother and her sons at gunpoint. We got a shotgun, watched us. The three men, all described by Detroit police as young black males between 16 and 18 years of age, one with a dark complexion, went through each room of the home looking for money. After five minutes of finding no cash, came this threat. Better get some money or we're going to kill you. Each member of this Detroit family has a medical condition, leaving them weak and vulnerable. They believe that's one reason why they were targeted. The family survives on Social Security and had little money to offer the crooks. So they cobbled together around 150 bucks and gave the thieves a set of house keys for the only home they've lived in since 1974. Worst it's ever been. Well, nobody in that family was physically injured as a result of this crime. Uh, they tell me they have those new locks and now a new security company. If you know anything about this crime, you have to contact Detroit police. We're live in Detroit tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News.